Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. And it's really just a waiting game now for most of the inner mountain west now that this high pressure is here. There's really only one cold front I've got that may sneak down on the eastern edge of this high. Um, otherwise, it's the Pacific Northwest that's getting all the action. Let's go up to Mount Rainier. You can see it right there. On and off snow. I've got heavy snow higher on the mountain all the way. Uh, for the next probably 48 to 72 hours and then that pattern's going to start to shift a little bit but again that's mount rainier let's go up to revelstoke you can see the lift coming out of the clouds there obviously socked in over parts of the mountain but you've got some snow coming as well in the next couple of days and this is up at kicking horse same kind of situation you've got snow coming off and on for the next probably couple of days as that flow that rich flow continues to hit the the pacific northwest with the jet and you'll get some blow off from all of that. So let me just kind of show you that pattern right now. All right, let's take a look at the flow. The jet is basically doing this. And, and then it's coming up, amplified, nailing the Pacific Northwest, BC, and then steering some of that moisture into BC and uh, parts of Alberta, um, Western Alberta. And some of that is actually riding over the top into extreme Northern Idaho, Northwest Montana. So that is one part of the flow. There's also the Southern branch, which has been kind of active as well. Um, just like that, but the, all the moisture is riding in like this. I mean, you can see these ripples of low pressure. All of it's just getting moved into the into the Pacific Northwest and British Columbia, and high pressure is dominating the Inner Mountain West, basically sitting right about here. And I have no precip. I have no snow for California or Utah for probably the next five to seven days. So again, it is just a waiting game at this point across the West, waiting for the pattern to break essentially, and some and really a whole different uh, pattern to evolve. And it's gonna be a while. Let me show you what the GFS thinks here. This interpretation, I'll take you into the future. So here's Wednesday morning. Uh, notice where the precip is. It's all Pacific Northwest BC, and then you can see how some of that gets blown into interior BC and Western Alberta. Um, there's Thursday morning, there is Friday morning. Okay, so this was the one front I think is going to sneak down on the eastern periphery of this high. You can see it dropping down through Idaho, Montana, Wyoming right there between Thursday night and Friday morning. And then it drops into the central to northern mountains of Colorado. So this is Friday morning and then during the day on Friday that front drops down through the state of Colorado. But then, it, then it's gone. By Friday night, Saturday morning, we're back to high pressure. Um, so I'm just going to roll this into the future. Here's Sunday morning. Uh, here's Monday morning. Here's Tuesday morning. Now right here, this is the 18th. Looks like there might be another front dropping down through Montana, down through Idaho. And you can kind of see it going down into Wyoming. Here's Wednesday morning. This is the 19th. That might be another front that sneaks through on the 19th through Wyoming down into Colorado, and then it's gone. But look at the southern branch become active. You see that? That low down in the Baja? So this is Thursday, the 20th of January. It tries to spin something off, but it runs into that high. So it's not successful. I mean, now we're talking about this is the 22nd. This is the 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, uh, 26th. There might We might have to wait until the 26, 27, 28, 29. You can see there's something significant happening right there coming down through Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, and into Colorado. Man, that's a long wait at this point. All right, so here's what I'm thinking as far as totals. All of today through the 20th, that one front that comes down drops one to four inches of snow along I-70 North in Colorado, probably a bit more on the Continental Divide in East in Colorado and a little bit up in Jackson Hole and Grand Targhee, Big Sky, Bridger Bowl Discovery, and obviously more up in Schweitzer. You're getting you're closer to where that feed is coming in and and there's some snow there through Mount Baker, Stevens, and Black, Whistler Blackcomb, but snow levels at times are going to run high, and you're going to have to be uh, mid-mountain or higher in a lot of these places to get the best snow. And there is some nice blow off there in the parts of Interior BC and uh, Banff, Marmot Basin, Sunshine Village, and so on, but. That's it through the 20th. And as I was just alluding to, um, we may have to wait for anything significant until the 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th. Um, and at that point, um, the jet may start to shift a little bit in favor of the West. But up until that point, I mean, it's just a couple of small cold fronts that, that kind of sneak north to south on the periphery of that high. 
Um, and, and it's just dominant up until that point. I mean, we've had such a solid three weeks prior to this across the West that this is a pretty abrupt change and reversal of the pattern. All right, thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.